Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is they will surely expose you somewhere with no house. The scripture comes from Proverbs 13. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide lips shall have destruction. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Okay, so here's the message. God is saying for someone at this time, make sure that every, sing, that every single thing that you do is in alignment with what God wants you to do. There is someone that is trying to catch you slipping. This person is trying to catch you weak. This person is trying to catch you desperate. I just feel like there's somebody and I, did, I like... Because what I'm thinking about right now is of someone that is acting as if they care about you. They act as if they want you. They act as if. But I feel like somebody is trying to um, undermine somebody. And, you know, what I'm really thinking of what's coming to my mind right now, what's coming to my mind right now, it will be like someone um, like a... Uh, because what God is reminding me of is kind of like um, the idea of like someone that you 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 sneak in. Like I, I'm thinking of someone sneaking someone. OK, like someone. Um, how do I say it? I'm trying to say it. I try to say it. it's like someone. Basically, God is saying that someone you want to bend the rules or you have thought about bending the rules for someone else or someone is trying to make you think that you need to bend the rules for them. Someone is trying to make you believe that if you bend, like they are like they are pretending as if they are in danger. They're pretending as if they're not OK. They're pretending as if everything is falling apart or it's like. This person basically wants to get you in trouble. Okay. I, I like, I don't even know how to say it. it will be just like a student, like, okay, let's say you in school with this person, this your uh classmate, and they tell you, yo, let's go, let's go skip, let's go skip for lunch. Or I remember when I was in high school, we used to walk to the jack in a box or we would walk across the street um to the beignet shop across the street from my high school. That used to be across the street from my high school high school or the ice cream shop or whatever. And one time, me and my friend, we was walking to the Jack in the Box. When we was walking back, the principal was standing at the gate with a clipboard. Okay, I don't know if I told y'all this. I told I, I like y'all. Never mind. Anyways, this principal standing there with a clipboard, and me and my friend look at each other. And she like, dang, is that the principal? And I was like, yes, that is the principal. And she was like, so what you want to do? You want to just go back and get attention, or what do you, what do you want to do? I was like, Psht. We already at. <laughs> that is like the worst idea ever for uh, any school. I don't know why, what possessed them to think that it would be better for them to stand at the gate. Like, oh, we going to get them this time. They going to stop. Uh -uh, I'm not coming back. I am not coming back. I'm already out. I'm not coming back. I'm not too bad, too sad. We deuces. Okay. <laughs> But I just feel like, so in this situation, it will be like this friend is like, oh, I'm so hungry and I just got to have Jack in the Box. And can you please go with me? I don't want to go by myself. You go with this person, but you don't know that this person has told the principal or told somebody, hey, go tell the principal that, that people are skipping so that they'll be there to get such and such in trouble. And, you know, as you're walking back, you're in trouble. And I just feel like God is saying that's what's going on. There's somebody that is trying to, uh, they trying to play you. There's somebody that's trying to play you. They're trying to get you in trouble regardless if they're trying to get you kicked out or they're trying to get you fired or they're trying to um, get you put in jail. This is somebody that is trying to set somebody up for some kind of trouble. But the only thing is that whatever the trouble is that you will receive, it is beneficial to this person.
And God is saying, you have to be careful with this kind of evil because this person is really trying to play you. Instead, And I feel like it's something that they want you to do. They want to have control over you. They want you to do something. And you said no. And now they are trying to figure out some kind of way to force you into doing that. First of all, God said you are not going to be forced to do anything that you don't want to do, regardless of how anybody feel about it. First of all. Second of all, this person is is uh very conniving. This person is very mischievous, and this person is very um manipulative. However, God wants me to come here and let you know beforehand, somebody is trying to play you. Somebody's 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 trying to play you. This person is trying. Like, this is somebody that really likes to sit down and think long and hard on how to set up a trap. And I just feel like God is saying for whoever this is for, God is telling you to let this person go. And, you know, he is going to reveal to you why. But I just feel like it would just be best. I have learned in my life that it is so much easier to just listen to God the first time. And that's the message. Okay. God is just saying like to save yourself the heartache, the pain, the hurt, and, you know, anything else, you know, regardless so what this person got going, you know, um, I truly in my heart feel like God is saying that he, while God would catch you if you fall, God is not going to allow this person's plan to come to pass. This is something that is being done in the dark. This is something that is being hidden from you. And this is something that is very evil. God said it will not come to pass. However, you know, it's kind of like in the process of this person trying to force you into doing this thing. They can destroy your life. They can tear things apart. They can tear relationships apart. And they can just keep, like, I just feel like this person is just, I, I, it's like a mind worker in a mind just knocking at the wall, just tearing everything down. They just tearing everything down and they trying, they doing it slowly until they are trying to achieve their goal. God said they never going to get to that goal. But he doesn't want you to end up in a position to where you are so hurt from how they have done you and you are so heartbroken that you don't even know what to do with yourself anymore. And, you know, going back to my example, it would be like you didn't got so many detentions from skipping school and now you just you scared you don't even want to go and get the good food no more and in reality one thing that really frustrated me about that in high school for most part most of the people that were leaving at lunch were not trying to skip school they weren't trying to just um leave school in such a way as far as uh like they weren't trying to come back but we want good food and i don't understand why schools in the united states feed children nonsense it's disgusting it is disgusting nobody likes it the adults don't like it the kids don't like it why do y'all keep feeding our kids this crap i, I don't understand and then getting mad when the kids want to order food or they want to leave the school to go get something that tastes good y'all like it, it's just absolutely preposterous it's nonsense and it's foolery and i'm saying that to say that god understand your side God understands how you feel. And that is why God is punishing this person. As they are plotting this, God is punishing them. As they are planning this, God is punishing them. God got his foot on their neck so hard that it's like it's really difficult for them to do everything that they're trying to do. But they still try. And God said he will continue to warn you and he will continue to save you and he will continue to keep you from getting into that trap. And this person, they are just going to get themselves deeper and deeper and deeper into a hall with the almighty God. And that's literally like what it is. God said, no, you're not going to fall into that trap. You're not going to fall into that trap. God says he is not going to allow you to fall into that trap. You know, and I just feel like, yeah. That's the, like, that's the message. God is saying, this is somebody that is very sneaky. Somebody watch out. This person is very sneaky. This person is very narcissistic. This person is very manipulative. And I just feel like for somebody, it would just be easier. Just let them go.
Let them go on about their business. And, you know, sometimes it can be hard. Um, sometimes it's kind of like, I know as far as women, if this is a relationship, as far as women go, we take a minute to get over a relationship. And most women are actually getting over the relationship before they have even physically removed themselves from the person. What uh, Something that a lot of men don't know, okay? And, um... I don't like I, I can't even explain why, but I think the sad thing about it is in this process, typically we as women are kind of like, OK, well, I know I'm sad and I know I'm thinking I'm pondering leaving, but maybe maybe just maybe he'll change this week. Maybe just maybe he'll treat me better. Maybe just maybe he'll realize that I'm sad. Maybe just maybe he'll realize that I, I don't want to talk anymore and that I'm not interested and I'm not smiling and maybe and. I think the saddest thing about it is we will go on dang near three months in this mopey, sad, depressive state, and most men don't even notice. And I, I like, and I just feel like, especially if it's a situation where a man is not in love. When a man is not in love and he don't love his wife or he don't love his person, they it, it's like they don't even realize that. Oh shoot! I think she's sad. Oh dang! I think I think I hurt her. Oh, I don't know what I did. I don't know what's wrong with her. Like it's not normal for people to be sad all the time. It is not normal for people to be crying all the time. Some of these men don't even like they they then got so used that like some women just get over the fact like they just get to a point so that they just get numb to all the hurt and pain that the man is giving them but they don't feel like finding anybody else and they don't want to be by themselves and they just become numb to it and it's so sad that the man don't even realize that he has broken the woman down so much she don't even smile no more he has broken this woman down so much she is no longer really happy and it's like you can't even see her though she's not herself anymore and um that's a message in itself but you know i just feel like god is saying for whoever this is for um let them go okay let them go about their business and uh let them like i just feel like god is just like let them go because they are not going to stop they are really persistent they are really stubborn and god is dealing with them and that's the message okay don't fall for it i love you guys i'll see you later deuces